What's up YouTube, it's your boy Realize here, bringing you guys another commentary to my channel. Uh, I decided to make this video today because I haven't got a video out in a couple days. I think I'm going to get a listen in out either today or tomorrow and yeah, just get that out to you guys with the new team, new team name and everything. If you guys didn't see what happened yesterday on Twitter, we are part of an organization now. I'm going to announce that in a couple seconds, but uh, it got announced officially yesterday. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, you would know that my new team is myself, Doomjar, Theory, and Sharp. Sharp was originally on Fear for most of this game. I don't think he was on the team other than Fear in this game. I'm not really sure. I wasn't really into all the teams in the band in this game. Just focused on myself, kind of. But that's the team he was on. I know Goonjar was on Donut Shop. He's been on Donut Shop since, like, the beginning of Modern Warfare 3. He has never been really a sketchy player. But... He, I mean, not really anything bad about either of those two, obviously, or I wouldn't be teaming with them. Both of them amazing players, but that's not really what I'm here to talk to you guys about. I just want to refresh you guys if you didn't know that's the new team. The organization we picked up, or like that picked us up really, is uh, BVV Gaming. You guys might know them from me and Theory originally playing on the team in Dallas. Uh, we placed third, if you didn't know that, most people actually know that. I'm just, just want to make sure everybody knows. but. That's the, that's the organization that just picked us up. I think it's pretty huge for us. Even though it's not the original BBB gaming team, I'm hoping it brings back some like hype and momentum to you guys because uh, I just don't, I, I want it to be like the same. But I mean, obviously it's never gonna be the same as the original for me replays complex theory, but we're gonna do our best to bring it back to you guys as much as we can and do everything we can to just like entertain you guys once again. Because I know a lot of people supported BBB and a lot of people still do now because I've gotten a lot of tweets, I've gotten a lot of congratulations, everything, but I mean, I'm I'm just really glad to be back, to be honest. The support from the BBB community itself is just insane, and then the community, like, not even just the community, but the people that, like, my followers, my followers and my supporters, like, you guys are just really amazing. Like, you guys have done nothing but support me ever since, I, ever since Dallas, and even, most of you have been here from before Dallas. I mean, I've got a lot of you from after Dallas, but... I mean, that's what happens when you start doing well. Obviously, I'm not going to complain about that. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about today is basically, uh, I this is this is some hard news for me to tell you guys. A lot of people know me for the bowl cut. It's not really a bowl cut. Everyone calls it a bowl cut. It's this joke around that most gamers do is say everyone has a bowl cut if you have like longer type hair, like that kind of looks like Justin Bieber hair. Everyone calls it a bowl cut. So. I cut my hair. I do not have long hair anymore. My hair is officially short. It used to be short before I played Xbox a lot freshman year in high school. But I ended up growing it out, and now most people knew me for the bowl. So, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of gone. I kind of built it up. So I feel like if I built it up, I might as well be the one to destroy it. I hope you guys don't hate me for that. Hostiles have the hard point. But that's just one of the topics I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, I have a lot of questions. I posted on Twitter asking you guys what you guys wanted to, like, what you guys want to know. Like, what do you guys want to know about me, BBB, my team, like, my gameplay, it's everything. I just asked for questions. So I got about eight questions here. I don't know exactly. I'm just guessing. But uh, first question: Why did you cut the bull? I cut the bull because I don't know. I'm tired of it. It's getting towards summer. It gets hot as hell here, and I just. I don't know. I had to get rid of it, to be honest. I don't know if people are going to be upset with me about that, but I, I, I think it was in my best decision to get rid of it. <laughs> but, okay, so next question. Where do you think you will place at Anaheim with the new BBB team? To be honest, I, I'm, I'm seeing a top eight placing. This team is full of crazy talent. We got one of the best anchors, in my opinion. And definitely a T10 anchor. I mean, there's not that many good anchors out there, but Gunjar is a freaking monster and knows what he's doing. And Sharp is just, he's got more experience than all of us combined. And he's an absolutely a nasty player too. So I really don't see us placing out of the top eight. I feel like we're going to place in it and we're going to hopefully make you guys proud, make everybody proud. Just show the BBB Gaming name some love. But uh, the next one is sum up your, sum up all your players' roles in a couple sentences. Okay, this is, this will be quick. I'll do this quick. Myself, I do kind of like a kill horror role. A lot of people call me a kill horror. A lot of people think I'm just a nasty slayer. I slay with a sub, though. I run around the map, basically get cuts on hardpoint, like cut off people as they spawn where they're trying to push into the hill. I hop in the hill occasionally and get a lot of kills, but I'm normally the person that has the most kills on the team. 
less that we have a secondary AR. It's like I run the secondary AR, AR role, but I do it with a sub. So that's kind of what I do. Goondra anchors. He's the one that controls the spawns, basically. He holds all the back of the map, based, like when the back of the hill, and tries to make sure we keep spawning there. And he's also the first person to rotate out. He should be the first ro person to rotate out for us. Sharp. Sharp is kind of like, he kind of does what I do, but he's more hill-based than I am. He gets a lot of kills, but he's more hill-based. He plays more like the hill role. Him and Theory kind of switch off on that. They play kind of the same role, and then they have me that just basically kill horse. That's just to get all the rolls as quick as I could. But here's another one. Uh, why do you enjoy gaming? I enjoy gaming. I don't know. I played games a lot when I was a younger kid. Like, I played like, GameCube and Nintendo 64 playing like Mario Party and Mario Kart. And that was really fun to me, but... I ended up starting playing shooters. I think I played Halo 3 was my first one. And I really liked it. I didn't really have any problems with it. I mean, it was Halo, and I just I really didn't play competitively. I think I tried playing competitively. I think I went to a LAN, and I played Straight Rippin'. I don't know if they all lived in Florida then. I just remember Straight Rippin'. They played there with... It was Straight Rippin', all three of them. And then one of their... I think one of them couldn't go, so it was uh, one of their roommates. It wasn't like a huge LAN. It was like a local LAN. But it was actually really cool to find out that they were like a really good pro team and all amazing players. But that was like my first ever competitive experience. And I don't know, I just really liked it from then. And then I ended up getting World at War for Xbox. And like my competitive experience started in Black Ops 1. Like I really just played pubs for like three years. <laughs> like I really didn't play that much. Like I played occasionally. And then my neighbor got me into game battles. My neighbor's actually, he, he was actually really good in COD 4, and he got me in game battles in Black Ops 1, and I ended up, like, I guess getting really, I, I, I don't, uh, I can't even say that, I wasn't really good at Black Ops 1, I was actually pretty meat, but <clears throat> I ended up getting good about Modern Warfare 3, people call me a Modern Warfare 3 star a lot, the people that are, like, good at Black Ops and stuff, don't really want to go into all that, but I got into it then, and then just kept moving up, as Black Ops 2 started, <clears throat> I just got really, like, recognized, and I don't know. There's, there's a lot of more story I could go into here, but I don't have all the time in the world. But that'll be basically it. Uh, next one is what happened with complexity? <laughs> like a week ago, Aches made a tweet. He like said that he was stepping down and letting me play at Anaheim for him and having TP be the captain. But that was a that was a complete joke. So it was a troll. No one was. It wasn't serious at all. So if you guys really think I was on complexity, I know I've got it. Like I probably got it like 40 times in the last week. Especially when I announced that I was team with Goonjar and them. A lot of people were like, what happened with Complexity? What happened with Complexity? Yeah, it, it was just a troll. It wasn't really like a real thing that was ever happening. Okay, next question. Uh, you hate losing. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I hate it. I hate it. It's the worst thing. No one likes winning. I mean, no one likes winning. <laughs> Everyone likes winning, but no one likes losing. Nobody. There's not one person in the world that likes losing. They can say, oh, losing is learning. I mean, because it is learning, but... No one likes it. It just doesn't, it's not fun. It's not fun to lose. I mean, people can say it all they want, but it just, it really isn't fun. It's actually probably the worst thing that can happen to me is I hate losing anything. Doesn't matter what it is. I hate losing a gunfight. I hate losing a match, scrim, anything. It just, losing just blows. But, gets me down. What was your first event? My first event was Black Ops 1 MLG Orlando. I didn't, I really wasn't into competitive, but my neighbor was. And the same neighbor that got me into competitive, he asked me to play MLG Orlando with him. And I was like, that sounds cool as hell. I know MLG events have been going on. I'm really just like playing game battles for fun. But I mean, I want to do it. So I want to go to land. We ended up placing like 32nd. Not good at all. Like it's actually really bad. So <laughs> I don't know. I hate bringing it back up. But I wasn't really the competitive player I am now back then. So I mean, I can't really complain about it. But that was my first event. So... Really, that's it. And Dallas is my second event, obviously. You guys know I played third. So, okay. Why did the old VVV break up? Old VVV broke up because me and Replays left. Me and Replays had, like, disagreements and different ways of seeing things with one of our teammates on the team. But, so basically we had to, we didn't have to leave, but we decided it would be in our best decision to leave. I mean, that might have been a mistake, obviously, because now I'm back on BBB with Theory. Maybe I shouldn't have left him at all, but uh, that's, that's basically why they broke up. I don't know why Theory and Complex pretty much split, but then I ended up swooping up Theory and now we got BBB Gaming again. But this is the last question I got here. Who is your best gaming friend and who is my duo? 
My best gaming friend has to be Sender. Sender is probably the coolest kid I've met on Xbox in real life too, so uh, he's, he's probably my best gaming friend. And my duo? My duo is definitely Theory. Theory has been my duo since I joined ADB, which is the original team before we were VVV. But basically, that's all I have to talk to you guys about today. If you guys like the video, please like it. If you are not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. I love you all. Peace out, YouTube.